Assalamu alaikum students this is Ghosia Ibrahim with this is presentation number 4 students you have to make three interleaf copies for science one for biology one for chemistry and one for physics now we are starting biology chapter nutrition in plants I have explained you uh, the chapter nutrition in plant now students you have to start your written work in your biology copies first you have to write down the date and put the uh, heading that is the name of the chapter or write down the new words new words are given on page number 14 of your science book I am sending the picture of these words also if you don't have a book you can do it from the from this presentation then after copying down the new words you have to start short question answers copy down student copy down question number one on page number 16 question 1 is define autotrophic nutrition now start the answer write down the heading of auto then write down the kind of nutrition the kind of nutrition in which an organism makes its own food by utilizing simple substances by utilizing simple substances from the environment is called autotrophic nutrition now I am repeating the answer again and I will tell you the spellings of difficult words also. The kind of nutrition in which an organism O R G A N I S M organism makes its own food by utilizing U T I L I S I and G utilizing simple substances S U B S T A N C E S substances from the environment E N V I R O N M E N T environment is called autotrophic nutrition now copy down question number two that is how do water and minerals reach leaves of a plant write down the answer plants absorbs water and minerals m i n e r a l s minerals from the soil through their roots t h r o u g h through their roots i am repeating the line again plants absorbs a b s o r b s water and minerals from the soil through their roots for the stop these are transported t r a n s p o r t e d transported to the leaves through pipe like vessels through pipe p i p e pipe 
like vessels v e l s e l s vessels present inside the roots stem comma branches and leaves i am repeating the answer again plants absorbs water and minerals from the soil through their roots full stop these are transported to the leaves through pipe like vessels present inside the roots comma stems comma branches and leaves now copy down question number 3 why are mushrooms and molds called saprophytes write down the answer mushrooms and molds are called saprophytes because they and feed on dead d e a d and decaying plants d e c a y i n g decaying plants and animal matter full stop i am repeating the answer again <coughs> mushrooms and molds are called saprophytes because they do not have leaves to prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis full stop they depend and feed on dead and decaying plant and animal matter now copy down question number 4 why do organism require nutrients write down the answer organisms require nutrients for growth comma development d e v e l o p m e n t development and deriving d e r i v i n g deriving energy e n e r g y to carry out C A R R Y carry out the life L I F E processes P R O C E L S E S processes. Now copy down question number five. farmers need not add nitrogen fertilizers to the soil in which leguminous plants are grown explain why write down the answer rhizobium bacteria r h i z o b i u m b a c T E R I A rhizobium bacteria create create C R E A T E a symbiotic association a symbiotic S Y M B I O T I C symbiotic association A double S O C I A T I O N association with leguminous 
प्लांट्स एल ई जी यू एम आई एन ओ यू एस लेज्यू मीनस प्लांट्स फुल स्टॉप दे लिव इन द रूट्स दे लिव इन द रूट्स ऑफ लेज्यूम्स एल ई जी यू एम ई एस लेज्यूम्स एंड प्रोवाइड दैम विथ नाइट्रोजन एंड प्रोवाइड दैम विथ नाइट्रोजन दैट्स वाई द फार्मर्स नॉट एंड दैट्स वाई द फार्मर्स डू नॉट एड नाइट्रोजन फर्टिलाइजर्स टू द सॉइल इन विच लेज्यूमिनस प्लांट्स आर ग्रोन फुल स्टॉप आई एम रिपीटिंग द आंसर अगेन राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया क्रिएट अ सिम्बायोटिक एसोसिएशन विथ लेज्यूमिनस प्लांट्स फुल स्टॉप दे लिव इन द रूट्स ऑफ